Hi guys, we hope you had a great week and welcome to our new renovation vlog. In the last video we completed the drywall in the future bedroom in the attic and I promised you that we would get a friend to fill the gaps and holes with compound. I accidentally called it spatula but luckily I have you guys to correct me if I use wrong words. Thanks a lot for that because I learned so much by doing these videos in English and I really appreciate all your valuable input. Anyway, I totally forgot that we have to put up more drywall in the hallway and the bathroom before our friend can come and do his compound magic. Shame on me. That's why today we continue with insulation and drywall in the bathroom and hallway and we also need to build another knee wall in the bathroom. So let's go! Building the knee wall for the bathroom was a bit tricky because we didn't have enough space in this little room. We decided to build the frame in the bedroom and then tried to somehow wangle it in its right position. We wanted to attach the frame onto the old beam which was left on the ground but had to do some adjustments because there was a screw in the way. No problem for my dad of course. I've got a feeling that this won't be the last thing which has to be customized. Old houses are always squinty and need special attention in that way. Here we have the boiler for the bathroom which we want to attach today. Due to German regulations it's important to put it somewhere where it doesn't have any contact with water. So our plan is to put it on the knee wall under the vanity. We're going to build a vanity from an old plank of wood and put a countertop basin on top of it so there won't be any splashes getting to the boiler. In the meantime, I keep stickering and my dad is building the dry wall where the shower and the toilet are supposed to go. Caught behind the Venetian blinds How to reach for the city lines This ain't where I belong Hey, look at me, man, what I've become I've been running east Looking for something Digging deep since 99 What I thought was gone Was 
A few days later, a friend of ours, who is a plumber, connected all the pipes for water and heating. Yay! We've got a walk-in toilet on the construction site. Another big step forward for me. <laughs> we also bought some pieces for the vent pipe. Um, I hope it's the right word for it. It's basically a pipe going outside to make sure that there's no gurgling in the water system. For example, if you flush the toilet. Now my job is tidying up a bit and doing other small things to prepare for my dad to continue his work. In the last video I tried to prepare something as well but made some mistakes so my dad had to redo my work. <laughs> I thought it was so cute because some of you left really nice comments under the video to comfort me and motivate me to keep going. Thanks a lot for that guys, I really appreciate it. I was a bit sad to be honest that we had to do it again but that's how it goes in life, you know. You try things, make mistakes, and then learn from them. So don't ever feel discouraged by something like that. It's the best way to learn, and I will definitely never make these mistakes again. So everything's good.
Oh, this was a really nice surprise from my dad. I seen a toilet roll holder made from an old mold where they used to burn bricks with. It was quite a simple construction, but the furniture shop wanted to, uh, 40 euros for it. Um, you can get these molds for 10 euros, so I bought one and my dad immediately drilled two holes in it and put a stick through it so the toilet roll fits on there. I was so happy when he surprised me with that because I think it looks really cool. It fits the old house and it was some kind of a bargain and I love bargains. <laughs> Here we are behind the knee wall in the bathroom. I still have to put some stickers on the foil there, so I thought I give you an exclusive space where no one will enter for the foreseeable future. Enjoy! <laughs> and in the meantime, my dad is continuing the drywall in the hallway. I'm really impressed how much we achieved in today's video. Having water and closing the knee wall in the bathroom gives a really good feeling. That's why we call it a day for now and say thanks to everybody for watching the video. If you want to support us, leave us a thumbs up for the video and subscribe to our channel. I know I say this every time and sometimes I feel stupid for it, but this is really the best thing you can do to show us that you want to see how this renovation story continues. You can also share the video with your friends if you liked it. And yeah, thanks a lot for your support. Have a great day and see you soon, hopefully. Bye bye.